What's up YouTube in the world? So I took on Project 04 Toyota Sequoia. So I purchased this from one of my used car dealers, knowing one, that the power steering was a problem, two, the hood latch was bad, three, the frame had some issues, four, the uh, back behind the doors uh, had some spots rotted through on uh, left and right rear. Uh, the rear hatch window worked, but the uh, handle and latch did not, so that was locked shut. Um, and also uh, a left front strut. So let me show you what's up. Power steering lines, all right? So that was the uh, high pressure and low pressure. The high pressure was really bad. The low pressure was rotted out. So what I did is I used some of the high pressure line and then patched that in uh, to the old uh, low pressure line. Low pressure, you can tell, has hose clamps on it. All right, so that was a simple fix. Um, which was pretty awesome. Um, next was right above the sway bar perch. Uh, there was some rot inside of the uh, frame rail there, but not really, really bad. I've seen a lot worse. I've seen the cars come in with the sway bar perches just hanging down on the ground. Um, so I made up the patch panels. Uh, I, will, I drilled some holes in the centers so I can get to the metal in there also. Everything's welded in and plated. And then also back here by the transmission cross member in here, See where I drilled holes through the uh, material and then bonded that in the centers as well. Back besides here. Now the other side was actually good. So I didn't really mess with it. I mean, there's a little deterioration spot there, but I'm not overly concerned with it because it's still pretty good. I've seen a lot of these really, really bad everywhere else. Um, but these things run. This has 280,000 miles on it. Motor's quiet on start, doesn't smoke, AC works. Uh, and then I also filled filled the frame rails with uh, that expandable foam from Home Depot. I know some people have mixed emotions about it. I really don't care. Um, this will help strengthen the boxes all the way up, all right? And I didn't do anything on this side. And you know what? Water will find its way in and out, no doubt about it. Um, it already had a newer exhaust system on it. That was killer. Uh, saved some money. The right front strut was bad for a while. Um, I, I just don't get why people just don't fix things. And then whoever worked on it last, doing the brakes, uh, broke the brake hose mount because the bolts seize and break constantly. Dudes, installers, mechanics, do-it-yourselfers, guys and girls. Cable tie them on, hose clamp them on. The shaking from the hose and the brake lines will break the steel brake lines or break another connection and you won't have no brake. I just noticed that there too, and that was never tightened up, but I didn't install that. All right, so that's a sway bar link. So they went in there and did a sway bar link and brakes, and then left a broken strut. Um, but I did the strut. I secured the brake line. So unsafe. I see so many cars that come in here nowadays um, with the brake line just slapping around, flapping around in the wind. It's it's ridiculous. And on the inside, it needs uh, some seat cushions. Some trim pieces, no big deal, this has been fun.